IC model, really quite simple, three, four march. Just gonna do it phrase at a time. There's nothing in this should really catch you out. So the first phrase, first bar, first phrase, G grace note on F, go to the high A, and then there's an F Dublin. To play this F Dublin, you go from high A to F and then play a G grace note because it's a half F Dublin because you're coming from high A. Then a throw on D, low G, D, C, D. So after three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you're going from the D. We'll take the second bar from the D. Play an E double G, grace note to E, F grace note on E. Then you move down to the D, then you play a G grace note to B, D grace note on B, B Dublin, and then a strike to low A, which is just a little low G. So from the D, this is then after two. One, two. One, two. One, two. The whole phrase now. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Into the second phrase. Take it from the low A. Again, it's going to be after two. You play the low A on the three. So we're just going to do this, break this into two bars. So low from the low A, G grace note the F, high A, half F Dublin again, then throw on D. Exactly the same as bar one. One, two. In the last bar, we're going to go from the D, G grace note to F, high G, then there's a thumb grace note to E, then a G, an F grace note on E, which is the, the, the way you, you play an e, uh, a Dublin from high G. You can leave out this back grace note uh, and only play a half grace note coming from high G. But the correct way of doing it is playing a, a thumb grace note. So from the D, after two, one, two. One, two. One, two. Let's do that whole phrase now then. One, from the low A, one, Two. One, two. Second line. First phrase in the second line is exactly the same as the first phrase in the first line. So coming from this E. One, two. Second 
Second phrase in line two. From the low A, G grace note DF, high G, again the double on the knee from the high G with the back grace note if you're going to play it, then a burl on low A. Remember that the burls are played a few different ways. Um, and it just takes time to develop the bird, but what you want to do is cover the low G hole twice. So after two, one, two. One, two. One, Two. And from the low A, G grace note to E, F, and then a low G, D, C, D, throw on D, and hold the D for two beats. One, two. One, two. Let's do the whole part then. And it's repeated, so we're just going to go back into it and play the first bar. After three, one, two, three. Into the second part. The only difference in the second part is bar one, bar three, and bar five. So they and they are all exactly the same. So we're going to do the first phrase. Have a look at the first bar on the first phrase. Coming from the D, coming from this D. Three, four. So it's a grace note, the F. High A, strike it. Then an F, Dublin, half F, Dublin, because you're coming from the high A, then move to the D. Three, four. Three, four. Then the second bar is exactly the same as the first part. Coming from this D. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. And then it's the first bar again. And then this fourth bar is the same as the fourth bar in the first part. So let's do the whole line. Three, four. Three, four. 
three, four. Onto the last line. First bar and the last line is exactly the same as the bar above. The second bar again is exactly the same as the far bar above. So let's do all of this. Coming from an E this time. Three, four. Three, four. And the second phrase is exactly the same as this phrase in the first part. So coming from the low A, G grace note the F, high G, remember you don't have to play the thumb grace note going to the E Dublin. And then the burl on the low A, G grace note the E, F, throw on D. So the whole of that phrase then, three, four. Three, four. Okay, let's do the whole of that part now then. One, two, three. Always remember to repeat the part, go back into it again. <laughs> 